is a startling image we're seeing for the first time of a close call at Logan Airport. That's a private jet across a runway where a jet blue plane was trying to land. Now, this incident happened in February and it prompted a federal investigation. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa reports from Logan on what investigators have learned. That close call here at Logan Airport raised alarms about safety after a series of other close calls in the skies. And now we're seeing it firsthand in this new NTSB report. I think it was a screw up. Humans in the system will make errors occasionally. A very scary picture in a final NTSB report showing just how close two planes came to colliding at Logan Airport in February. This picture is from the view of a JetBlue flight that was moments from landing. 400 feet in front of that plane, you can see a private jet crossing the runway at the same time. This was a serious situation, but uh, luckily not a catastrophe. From the perspective of a veteran pilot, Patrick Smith of AskThePilot.com. That's a failure on the Pilot 101 level. The NTSB report says the charter jet got permission to line up and wait before the intersecting runway. But instead, the private jet's flight crew started taking off without permission, causing the close call. At the time, WBZ spoke with a passenger on the JetBlue flight. You do sit there and say, oh my gosh, like, you know, I mean, I got a 13-year-old, I got a 15-year-old, I'm married, like... How close did I come to, to not seeing them again? NTSB investigators say a ground detection system alerted the control tower that something wasn't right, so a go around was issued in time. I actually think this is an example of the system working like it was supposed to. The private jet pilot told the safety board the cold Boston weather somehow affected him, saying in a statement, I cannot understand what happened. I was not feeling completely well. My apologies. These sorts of incidents have a way of uh, riling up people's fears, and, and I think it's important to remind people that commercial flying right now is, is statistically safer than it's ever been. Luckily, no one was hurt in this incident. The NTSB has acknowledged the need to invest in more aviation safety technology, like the system here in Boston. At Logan Airport, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. Well, tonight,